guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing these silicone makeup sponges. I have been seeing these go around YouTube and Instagram like for so long and I was thinking why would somebody create a silicone makeup brushes? Like how would those even be useful? So I was very intrigued. Um, this video is sponsored by Lily and Beauty. So keep in mind that even though this video is sponsored that all thoughts and everything that I feel and think about these products are my own. And they also sent me two extra ones for you guys to get in a giveaway. So make sure you guys watch the full video and at the end I will have all the giveaway info. Okay you guys, so firstly I want to show you the actual product up close. So this is what it looks like. So it has basically everything that you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. So the first thing that I have here is the silicone makeup sponge and it is in this cute little packaging right here and then the one thing that I did love about this set already was the fact that it had this little container for your silicone sponge then we have our actual silicone brushes inside of here these are available right now on Amazon if you guys did want to try them out you do get six different brushes the three larger ones right here I'm gonna go ahead and individually tell you guys what exactly that they are so there is a triangle shape for contour touring as in the pictures that are, are on the Amazon site that you can use it to apply it for a face mask and also you know if you apply some of the face mask on your back of your hand or something you could actually use it to scoop it up we also I... have a little small lip brush we have a eyebrow brush which I'm very very interested in trying this and seeing if it works because this is literally sharp and unlike a normal bristle of a brush it does not move and it does not alter its shape it's just nice and sharp to get you know hopefully those perfect brows every single time and then we also have this little smaller one which I would use for concealer because it gets right underneath the eyes and also to maybe even contour the nose and then these last two are these two large ones this kind of looks like a blush brush actually if it's perfectly right here on the cheekbone and this could also be used as a foundation brush so I'm gonna be honest um, I don't think these are going to work for any powdered product basically the whole point of these brushes it does not waste product which I definitely can see how it's not gonna waste product because unlike an, an actual like beauty blender or sponge and unlike a brush it does not absorb or get the product in between the bristles so if that makes sense that is the whole concept behind the silicone brushes now we have to test them to see if they actually work. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to use this one for my mask. I am quickly because, you know, I popped this pimple and my face is looking a little red. I am going to apply my face mask. The mask that I'm going to use is the Origins Clear Improvement Activated Charcoal Mask. It says that it clears pores. So I have used this for a while and absolutely love it. So I am going to just apply it um, in this area where I am breaking out or wherever I need it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the back of my spatula here just go ahead and start applying it on my face you can also use a brush like an actual makeup brush for this but this is just easier all the product that is going on to your spatula it's distributing the product and you know you're using all of that product and look you guys you literally use all the product so I am just going to wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to wipe it off okay so I washed off my mask and as you can see there isn't so much redness now I'm going to do my brows normally before I do any of my makeup I always do my brows first so we are going to take our little brow silicone brush and I'm going to use my dip brow I'm going to use the shape ebony because my chocolate is out I am going to just take some of the product and just dab it in there okay so this is the one brow I obviously have to clean it up with concealer but for the most part I mean as you guys can tell it worked and look it did use all the product obviously I'm gonna go ahead and zoom closer but 
Obviously, it did use most of the product that was actually onto the brush, which is great because I did not waste any product. I will say, though, that it does take a little bit longer. Just like when I reviewed the Silly Sponge, if you guys want um, to know how the Silly Sponge works, like an actual dedicated video on this Silly Sponge and where to buy it, I will go ahead and link that video down below. So it's very time-consuming to use these products, but I mean, they work well. So I am going to quickly do this other brow, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I do have my eyebrows carved out and everything and I don't know about you guys but I haven't done my brows this good in a very very long time so I honestly actually do love this brush we're gonna move on to foundation I'm going to use this um, flat brush right here and I will only be using creams in this tutorial I don't think I said that but for foundation I'm going to be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation you guys know I love this foundation but hate the pump I'm going to just be um, applying this actually onto the little silicone sponge right here and then applying it straight to my face I'm actually going to also use the silly sponge in this video so I am going to use this for half of my face and I'm going to use the silicone sponge for the other half I'm actually going to use this to blend my foundation I'm actually going to transfer some of this because I put way too much on this side and I'm sort of like patting it and I really love it because it's perfect to get right around the eyebrows because it's unlike a brush you could just really get in there and I know that it's not gonna like you know mess up my eyebrow the more I blend it out and like patting it the better it's getting in the beginning I was like oh no there's no way you can blend out a foundation with this but I mean as you guys can see it's blending out so the method with this is to pat you need to pat it into your skin and not swipe you can swipe to move it move the foundation around and to distribute it now I'm gonna use my silicone sponge to blend this side I kind of like technically already blended it so I'm gonna add a little bit more I'm actually gonna use this to blend it in like to pat it I guess instead of the silicone sponge I'm gonna use the silicone sponge in the end because I actually like the way this blends it the only thing I don't like about this is that I can't get like right here like on my nose like there's no way I could do this on my nose so I am gonna have to go ahead and go in with the beauty blender zoom you guys in and I want you to see how good this foundation covered so now I am going to go in with the sponge and just touch up the area around my nose and my smile lines because the foundation did settle a little bit right there. Now that our foundation is done, I can say that I too love this. Very weird and I honestly did not think I was going to use it. So now I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to apply some blush and this is going to be a cream blush. So I am just going to apply a little bit of it on my cheekbones and then I'm going to take the cream blush and just go ahead and just blend it out and I'm going to be doing basically the same motion as I was doing with the foundation but I'm, I'm going to just spread it out just a little bit obviously because I don't want to concentrate it in one spot that blended out really really nicely now for cream contour and I feel like this is going to be very challenging I'm just gonna take my Maybelline contour and I'm just going to contour where I normally would contour and I'm going to use my silicone sponge for this and for concealer I'm going to be using this wet n wild mega glow concealer stick I'm gonna go ahead and use the other side of this brush to blend it in probably gonna have to use my sponge for that I think the just trick with using these is that you just have to have patience. So I did blend it out pretty well, but I am going to go in with my sponge and just go right over it just to make sure it's truly all blended and it's just really hard to get underneath the eyes with that. I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of cream eyeshadow because I do have two brushes left. One is for lipstick and the other one is for eyeshadow. I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo and I'm going to take this brush for the cream and apply it to my eyelid. These brushes are just so perfect with cream. They just glide on so smooth. You definitely wouldn't be able to use these with any powdered product. I'm going to finish up the eyes, but I'm not going to put any powder on my face. Put some eyelashes on, and then we're going to come back to do the lips. So I will be right back in just one second. Okay, guys, so I did all the rest of my makeup. I did not apply any powdered anything, but my highlight, I did use a cushion like a cream highlight and then I just went over it with a little bit of powder but that's the only powder that I have on my face so 
now the last brush that we are going to be using is the lip brush. So I'm going to take some of this Sonia Kashuk lipstick. This is in the shade Pinky Beige. And I'm going to apply some of that on the brush. And obviously just go ahead and apply it to my lips. So as you saw in the video clip, I did use it to basically just outline my lips and then to fill it in a little bit. And then it was just taking too long, so I just went in with the actual lipstick on my lips. But this could also be perfect for like a liner. This is the finished look. Definitely possible to make these brushes work. And I was actually super impressed with these brushes. Yeah, that concludes my video for this review. So the company actually sent me two extra ones for you guys. So I will be doing a giveaway. So there will be two winners. This is only for US only so I'm sorry for any of you that are not in the US I will be doing an international giveaway soon so don't worry I'd be doing a winner for YouTube and a winner for Instagram so the rules for YouTube is that you have to be subscribed to my vlog channel and you guys have to be subscribed to this main beauty channel so I will leave both of those links down below and in the comments down below comment your favorite donut and for the Instagram winner all you guys will have to do is I'm going to be posting a picture um, obviously with these so there will be a picture already posted onto my Instagram all you have to do is like the picture and comment below what your favorite summer essential is this giveaway will run for one week and at the end of one week um, I will go ahead and choose two random winners I will leave all the rules listed down below so if you guys want to win this then you guys can go ahead and enter please make sure that you guys are 18 and up I will need your home address to send you this and also make sure if you are under 18 that you do have your parents permission yeah. um i hope you guys liked this video if you guys want me to do more giveaways and if you guys want me to do more videos reviewing products like this then please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and until next time i will talk to you guys in my next one bye